Welcome back. We are in conversation with Prime Minister of Mauritius, Sri Anirudh Jagannath. Um, uh, you know, sir, Mauritius has been the single largest source of foreign investments into India and one uh, crucial treaty that has uh, made that possible is the double taxation agreement which is being renegotiated uh, but for some reason we are not uh, seeing the conclusion, successful conclusion of that uh, the DTA. So what is your assessment of the contribution of the DTAA into India-Mauritius relationship? Look, uh, the DTA has been there I think for more than 30 years. Mm -hmm. It has served both India and Mauritius, mm -hmm. the interests of both countries. You know, many, many investments coming to uh, India through uh, Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Well, India is benefiting. Mm -hmm. It's true that as it stands, the DTA, it gives certain, uh, say, favorable uh, uh, situation to, to Mauritius. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, as I, I have always said, we look at, on, on India as mother India. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So therefore, Mauritius being a little India overseas, mm -hmm. there should be no distinction between us. Mm -hmm. Say, if you are make, making, if the business people over here say they are losing money. But if you are losing some money, you are making a little sacrifice in favor of a little brother. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. wrong with it? Mm -hmm. You see, so I made all this point uh, mm -hmm. with the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. The discussions are not over yet mm -hmm. on DTA. Mm -hmm. When it concludes, it's only then I can comment and say what has happened mm -hmm. and what's going to be the situation mm -hmm. for the future. Right. Uh, fair enough, sir. You know, uh, uh, again, you know, regarding the DTAA. Uh, do you see any substance in the allegations that uh, the, the DTA was misused? What no, it's certainly wrong. It's certainly wrong. If you uh, see, you know, the remarks of international institutions, they have never said, they have never condemned Mauritius. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have made uh, things, you, you know, very easy uh, for India mm -hmm. to have a, say, close look at mm -hmm. what is going on in Mauritius. Everything is so transparent. Mm -hmm. You know, the communication of information mm -hmm. has been made so easy. You know, you have uh, people working there as, as auditors to follow and, and see if there is any misgiving. Mm -hmm. So, all the precautions have been taken. Mm -hmm. And we in Mauritius, we will not do anything to harm India. Mm -hmm. And we expect also in return that India won't do anything to harm Mauritius. Right. Uh, you also met with uh, top industry leaders in Delhi and we understand that we are, you are also going to meet some leaders in Bombay as well. Yes. What uh, has been the message of uh, uh, Indian industry uh, uh, to, to Mauritius, to you sir? Well, uh, I, 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 I could feel that uh, the Indian business people are very keen to come to Mauritius, to invest in Mauritius, to do business in Mauritius, and also with the new situation that is arising, uh, in so far as Africa is concerned, to use Mauritius. And this is what exactly we want, you know, as a gateway, because our relations with many African countries, mm -hmm. our being uh, members of organizations mm -hmm. with African countries, will naturally facilitate. We have uh, special agreements in so far as trade concerned, you know, there are so many concessions mm -hmm. and uh, also businesses that it will make things easier mm -hmm. for Indian businessmen to go through Mauritius and to invest in, in African countries. I understand that you have also inaugurated a board of investment office and that will facilitate uh, investments from India to Africa. So there are natural advantages that Mauritius offers, if I'm correct, uh, as far as access to the African continent. Certainly, so. certainly. We, we have uh, opened this uh, office here, with naturally only uh, the view uh, that uh, Indian business people, they want information before coming to Mauritius. And very often they have to come there 
uh, meet the people of the board of investment, well, uh, which is a sort of handicap. Mm -hmm. So to facilitate things, they can get all the information that they want concerning any business, concerning any sector of economic life in the Mauritius through the uh, Board of Investment, uh, uh, Office of Investment, Board of Investment over here. Mm -hmm. uh, they, we, we've done that to facilitate things. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, uh, let me ask you two questions about your, your domestic policies in Mauritius. If you can tell us uh, more about uh, the Vision 2030, which uh, your government has put in, and and what does it mean for Mauritius and uh, you know its its ties with other countries? You know, my Vision 2030 is more to strengthen transparency, good government, and uh, uh, consolidate uh, democracy, and then also to execute our plan of action in order to diversify our own economy because as things are under the previous government instead of moving forward we have been going backward mm -hmm. so we want to remedy the situation and then uh, we the, the situation was worse in 1982 mm -hmm. and uh, I came as Prime Minister we managed to remedy the situation and to bring uh, you know, success where uh, people thought we were doomed. And uh, w what we achieved was known all over the world, even the international institutions, they invented this saying that Mauritius has uh, done a, an economic miracle. Mm -hmm. Now, in my vision, what I want to achieve is a second uh, miracle to make our country become uh, at par, more or less, with the developed countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And we have a series of actions which I myself am going to monitor mm -hmm. to see to it that things are done. Mm -hmm. That there is action, there is not only promise, there is not only paperwork, and then as if forgotten. So I, I, I am sure, I am convinced, and I have this confidence, that we, we are going to achieve this. Uh, you uh, are also uh, steering a very interesting policy on aviation. You want uh, to have an air corridor yes. uh, going through Mauritius. Yes. Um, if you can tell us more about that, and do you see India fit into that program, that plan that you have? Well, uh, we have already have an agreement with um, uh, Singapore. Mm -hmm but uh, it is not finalized yet mm -hmm. to create a corridor between Asia and, uh, and, and Mauritius. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure that this is going to be realized. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with a very important airport, we have uh, also concluded an agreement and soon it's going to be operational and that is going to make things easier in so far as traveling is concerned between uh, Asia and uh, uh, Mauritius. And uh, we also creating a regional airline mm -hmm. in Mauritius, you know, to serve the African countries and uh, uh, Mauritius. So that communication between Asia and the African countries will become very, very easy. Mm -hmm. And this will help a lot for investors to go to invest and do business in Africa. I think this will give a boost and uh, more or less make things much easier than what they are today. Right. But before I leave you, sir, I would ask, want to ask uh, you a question in Hindi. Aapka kya message hoega apne India ke desh vashiyo ke liye, what is the message that you want to give? Because after all, you know, this is the, uh, as you said, it's a motherland, mm -hmm. right? So, aap kya message dena chahenge India ke desh vashiyo ko? Dekho, hum to India ko mother India maante hai. Mauritius mein, jo log zyada hai, wo bharat se aaye hai. Hum ek khun ke hai. भाई भाई हैं तो हम चाहते हैं कि हम अपने में 
ऐसा काम करें कि हमारा बराकत हो इंडिया का और मॉरिशस का भी योर एक्सीलेंसी इट वॉज ए प्लेजर हैविंग यू एन सी एन बी सी टी वी एटीन सी एन बी सी टी वी एटीन में आने के लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया दैट वॉज प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ मॉरिशस अनिरुद्ध जगन्नाथ टॉकिंग एक्सक्लूसिवली टू सी एन बी सी टी वी एटीन